Oh, nice. Okay, okay. Yeah, it's the thing about when 2B doesn't have 50% meter, right? You can kind of go ham. I'm going to do this because I don't want her to have DP available. So I'm going to... Yeah, there you go. That's an interesting little uh, piece of tech there, right? But, or it's not tech, but just like something to think about. I could have done more damage in that combo. Uh, but I was like, the, when you get hit, you build meter, right? So like, I'm going to keep this combo shorter so that she doesn't have 50 meters, so that she can't DP me on this next wake up. Because the next hit's going to kill anyway. So I don't need the extra damage from this combo. Just a little bit of a, a little bit of a tidbit there. Something that I saw somebody do in Capcom Cup, and I was like, wait a minute. This is like some serious, uh, some serious gourmet shit. You know what I'm talking about? All right, folks, and we are back with more Grand Blue Fantasy versus Rising action for you here against an Anila. This is the first Master Rank Anila we've seen, I think, uh, which kudos to them. Uh, Anila is definitely, oh, a bit of a uh, challenging character to climb with, I would say. Oh, wow. Okay, okay. Well, they got they got the, the read on my, my nonsense right away here. I tell you what. Okay. This is, the, this is the spooky part, right? Oh, man. Yeah, it's getting getting cornered by the, she the, the sheep lady and her big spear. This is where things can very quickly go wrong for us. What do you guys think? I don't even know. I don't even know what my options are. Uh, oh, that's good, at least. Uh, that is not as good. Oh, well, we're out of brave points. The, yeah, we uh, we sure are out of brave points. Hmm. Okay. I should have just super skybound darted. I had I had it in mind, but I couldn't I couldn't bring myself to do it. Okay, well, this, this round is uh, pretty pretty messed up. I think. I think we're we're in in some in some danger here to be sure. Okay, fair. Oh my god, I wasn't blocking. Oh, okay, well, silly, silly, very silly start. I was just holding down. That's very funny. So the six six L just killed me. I didn't even realize. I did not even realize. Okay, brave counter. Oh baby, gotta yeah, gotta remember to hold the guard button against that. Make that little uh, left right there not real. I thought I could whiff punish that. I could not. The little slow on the reaction there, I suppose. Oh, okay, damn. Okay. Brave counter. That's a, that's fine. Again, I'll take these. I'll take all of that. Oh man, I got baited though. Unfortunately. What are you gonna do now, huh? What do you got? Yeah. What are you gonna do now, huh? You were so uh, liberal with the brave counters earlier. You're in, you're kind of in danger now, aren't you? Yep. 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 Headbutt him right into the ground, like hammering a nail into some wood. You know what I'm talking about? That's good. Yeah. I mean, that's that's something. If, if they want to use their brave counters so liberally, we can just kind of, you know. Oh, we can just kind of wait them out until they're out of Brave Counters, and then we start getting a ton of reward for our big, stupid neutral options. Oh, oh okay. 5H. Not not the way to go there, clearly. Any cheap sweepers? Okay. Luckily, there is a whole lot of recovery on that. I actually was expecting to try and jump over a sweep attempt there, but uh, we were able to still make it work there. Okay, Brave Counter. Very understandable. Even have a nice day, possibly. Oh, no. I've been loaded. Brave counter? Yep. We'll take this chip, I suppose, because I don't know how to properly spot dodge these cheap yet, and I don't want to just kill myself for it. Bonk. Brave counter? No. Uh, okay, cool. Well, let me just take your last brave point away, so you can't brave counter. What do you guys think? I think that sounds like a wonderful idea. Maybe we could have killed if we had done some, uh, if we had done some, like, shenanigans with, uh, ultimate clothesline to extend that combo, but I don't know what you're talking about. I, I simply have never heard of such combo extensions. Oh, we got reset? Oh, okay, okay. They're, they're pulling out some tricks. To try and, and blow us up here in the uh, in the last minute. Nice two M though. Look at that. Look at that is some footsies. Literally, we just barely clip her toe on the very edge there. God, two M, my savior. Always always has my back. You love to see it. Six six H. Oh, that was, that was actually supposed to be six six H, not five H. But we'll take it. I, I mean, I've been, I, well, I'm not converting off of any of these hits. Okay, oh, I'm washed. It's official, guys. I don't know if I was ever clean, but I, I'm officially washed now. Bonk. Bonk. Oh, we got the full extension. Awesome. I was not prepared for this. Get grabbed. Nerd. Here we go. Get... Oh, no. I messed it up. I whiffed. I uh, misinputted it. Oh, okay. We, I did not hit the guard button there, which is a little silly of me. I think it's going to work. Yep. 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 Indeed it is. I didn't hit the guard button. It's a little silly, but I still managed to react. It's like you don't need to react. You don't need to rely on reactions if you just hit the good button. Uh, get... Sent to almost chip distance. I mean, a 2M kills you now. I mean, I'm I'm not super upset about this either. Because you are, yeah, I mean, you're out of defensive resources now. That's why we got to hit the guard button, man. Okay, I'm not going to get reset again. Yeah, yeah. Fool me once. Shame on, uh, I, I forget. I think the twice is shame on me, right? Oh, man, that's a full combo. Yeah, yeah. Headbutt there was a, a bit of a misinput. I meant to clothesline, actually. I just, for some reason, did forward instead of back. I think we might have still gotten blown up for clothesline, but it would have at least had more of a chance than just headbutting, you know, a hundred yards out of headbutt's effective range. 
Okay. So true, bestie. Any sheep sweepers? Alrighty. Any sheep sweepers? No. Oh, any regular sweepers for me? And unfortunately, the answer was yes. I teched too late there. Overhead. I'll eat those, I suppose. There you go. Get me out of here. Get me double out of here. Oh, that should be plus. I guess. Oh, I guess Anila's uh, 5L is maybe pretty fast. So my far M got blown up there, and that's silly. Yeah, I've been jumping at the Anila a lot, and they uh, they capitalized on it now. They haven't, they haven't always been able to get, like, the biggest conversions, but this time they were definitely ready for it, and I got blown up. Okay, okay. Fair enough. Let's uh, let's try and be a little bit less jumpy here against Anila, because I think that's the main thing that's causing us some some troubles. Oh, interesting. They did. I, I, I could have converted off of that, but I uh, wasn't ready for them to get hit by it, unfortunately. I mean, get grabbed again, I suppose. Bonk. Oh my god, look at those conversions. Uh, I probably should have done uh, the safe jump route here, but it's fine. We'll just do this, and I'm going to ultimate grab you. Oh, they guessed command grab, like an absolute madman. There you go, that's what I thought would happen last time. Yeah, so I think maybe I just haven't been hitting far M uh, fast enough, because at, at max range like that, uh, it should be plus two. So even her, uh, whatever life she's hitting, should at least trade and probably even get crushed. Okay, that's, yeah, that's not plus at that distance, though. That one is not going to work out. They just whiffed a 2H like that, huh? Oh, that was definitely meant to be clothesline. Maybe that was a blessing in disguise that I misinputted that, though. Okay, brave counter. Once again. Totally fine. Now, about the about the being less jumpy at this Anila thing. Brain? I thought we discussed this. I mean, I guess the brain is maybe okay with this part of the plan. It's the hands that are uh, struggling to uh, get with the program. Uh, that seems more likely to me. Bonk. Okay, there's your last brave point. Yep, and you have been doing that whenever you've been afraid of getting Brave countered quite a lot. So I was ready to just 2-H you that time. And now you're in danger. What do you guys think? I'm going to run up and crouch. Okay, okay. You hit. The jump there is definitely a little ambitious, I would say. What do you guys think? Are they going to do the, the little jump over again when they think we're going to Brave counter them? Okay. Okay. Oh, no. Not like this. I tried to jump that third time, but they, uh, unfortunately, they did the classic, right? They did the same thing twice, and on the third time, they did what would beat the reaction to the, th the thing they did twice. Very, very classic fighting games, even. Oh, oh, okay. So true. Bonk. Get clotheslined right out of your, your sheet there. Get grabbed while you're at it. This is, I mean, this is a good start to the round. There you go. Get grabbed again. Uh, I'm going to grab you again. No, I'm not. Oh, okay. They DP'd anyway, so it doesn't matter. Okay. Ow. Uh, I could have maybe woken up projectile in Voln Super there. I'm not certain. I'm not certain. I want to... Uh, maybe maybe worth a try just for the learning. Oh, okay. So true. That should be plus. No! We got counter hit. I'm going to just super skybound, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. I don't see why not. And you're dead, actually. The funny part about this is you're like, yeah, okay, I got hit by a super skybound, but I'm at, you know, 51% HP. Now I got bad news for you. Yep. Yep, that... Uh, what a time to be alive. Uh, I suppose I suppose that means you got outplayed. I, I I disagree with that. I think that just means that that Super Skybound Dart does an absurd amount of damage. But just for my own ego, let's say you got outplayed and call it a day. Uh, GG's, Mr. Mr. Sheep person. Uh, I think I think we still... Honestly, I think we could have probably done a few things a lot better against that Anila. Namely, I think we still jumped way too much. And I think we were... Uh, you can spot dodge her little uh, sheep charge there, right? And I, I was not very good about it. I don't think I did that a single time. So that's something we definitely could have done better. But we were using, uh, otherwise we were doing okay. We were using anti-projectile super a little bit, which is always nice to see. Uh, oh, hello, light. What is that? Yes, indeed. Indeed. Uh, is this, uh, it, could this be Yagami lights, perhaps? Oh, it's Matera's theme. Okay, okay. I don't mind. I like Matera's. I put it in, I put it in Go's heart. It's not my, oh, not my favorite theme necessarily, but I like it. Bonk. 6XL. DP. So true, bestie. Have you considered, what the rollback? Okay, okay. I guess I could have punished with something a little faster there, maybe. That's a seven framer. I, I honestly, like, I know that the lows tend to be punishable, or at least pretty minus. And I figured that, yeah, like, I guess I could have done something like that. Sure. Uh, I'll just do it again. Yeah, I didn't think you'd be ready since it was on cooldown, basically. Oh my god, they accidentally, they messed up. The first time, I didn't convert, and then the second time, they messed up their, their 2H in a tragic way. Get away from me. DP, understandable. But what if I reversal super you? Uh, okay, never mind. I'm gonna die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm not gonna die. Well, not yet, anyway. DP? Oh, man. I thought that was maybe, like... So I figured maybe they might 
uh, cover their minus frames with DP there. But looking at that move, I thought maybe that was just like straight up punishable, not just minus. So I went for the uh, for the swing there. And if it is punishable, it's at least what the hell was that interaction? If it is punishable, it's at least not punishable by M. It might be a light punish. Hard to say. Okay, yeah, yeah. I need to be a little bit uh, less to you happy against that exact string there with the auto combo. That's getting me. It's getting me blown up in a big way. Overhead is okay. You don't get nearly as much off the overhead as you do off the low. You do get another turn, though. Which is why I maybe should have respected that and not mashed there. Alright, well, this is bad. This round is, uh, well, difficult to win. Are you gonna jump? No. There you go. Something like that is at least a little better. Oh, interesting. Her, her parry doesn't beat lows, maybe? Uh, I'm gonna super skybound, are you? Now, funny enough, you're almost dead. So... Suddenly, this round is actually quite winnable. But here's the thing: Do you think are they in offensive stance? They were. They were. They were. So I had I had the right read there, right? I, I thought they were in offensive stance. So I was gonna run up and uh, and by the way, I'm pretty sure I can tell from the icons what stance they're in. But I, I, I yeah, yeah, okay, okay. I, I'll I'll keep that in mind. This is defensive stance. Uh, but yeah, I, I I thought they would do that, and I thought they would DP, and I was like, I'm going to. Uh, as a result. I'm going to, uh, what's it called? I'm going to wake up command grab your ass, right? And I had the right read, you know? I had the right read, but I misinputted command grab as clothesline, so I got blown up. Highly unfortunate, but it happens. Again, technical, when you when you lose to a technical misinput, you just try and clean it up later. But it's good that, like, our, our read on the opponent and our actual, like, mind games and things like that was, was on point. That's the harder part, right? So, I'm not going to be too upset about that loss. Oh my god, I was out of range. Not like this. Okay, okay, I need to dash for a little bit longer there, I suppose. Uh, that's bad. I did that without even looking at them. Yeah, yeah. I was like so hard autopilot committed to that option. Any DPers? No. Oh, wow. Okay, okay. I tried to jump again and maybe command grab them in the air if they met me up there. But instead, they caught me with the tail end of the 6-6-L there. And now we're going to die. Okay, okay. Fair enough. Fair. Maybe maybe jumping there was a little bit... Uh, but I saw them jumping and I was like, I think they want to try and jump again and like air throw me or meet me in the air. Because they've been doing that a little bit often. What if I did something like this? No, okay. I was waiting for them to try again and meet me in the air. And then... I could potentially air-to-air uh, -air command grab them, but that did not turn out to be what was going to happen there. Instead, we just kind of got our ass beat. Bonk. Well, you we can get our ass beat. It just led to nothing in that scenario. Okay. Any jumpers? Whoa, I, that is, I did not realize that was in throw range, to be completely honest with you. Uh, I'm just going to do this just to mess up your brave point situation. Make it, make it a scary time for you. What do you guys think? Okay. There's all your brave points. That's what they did before. Okay, okay, so that is confirmed not punishable, at least not in that manner. Oh, I could have gotten a conversion off of that and killed. Okay, okay. But we just back up, and uh, they have been doing that slash quite a bit. So we back up and punish them on landing. You'll have to see it. I think they could have blocked, actually, but I think they just weren't ready to. I think they thought that was going to hit, and they were going to be, you know, they were going to get a turn to run some offense. Ooh, baby. I thought we would barely be out of range there for uh, close end, but no. Okay, okay. Okay. I feel like... They're really throwing me at uh, max range. I keep thinking that they're not in in range to get thrown, and then it turns out that I am. Oh, okay, so true. Get away. Okay, so true. Oh, that one is pun. Okay, okay, so that one is is the two slashes is definitely just straight punishable then. Good to know. Uh, they're in the air. Yeah, okay, okay. Good, uh, good games. Good games. I honestly did not clock that they had the meter to do that again. Because I, 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 in my head, I was like, they just did it. But I mean, even even still, they could have just done it out of EX uh, spin anyway, right? So that was, that was just a bad option in general. It was just more of a panic option for me, I suppose. Uh, yeah, okay, okay, okay. I think the, uh, I mean, there were there was one game that we just lost to a mechanical flub. But I think otherwise, uh, we maybe, that, that Narmaya did DP a little much. And honestly, they did the armor DP a little much. So that was a game probably that we could have done a lot better in if we command grabbed a little bit more liberally. Is, is my current take on that. Like, if I had to if I had to wrap up that whole match in, in a single bow there. Because uh, we were seeing some success with that, for sure. Right? And if she has her offensive, uh, if she's in offensive stance, sword-drawn stance, then her uh, her parry is a parry, right? So it loses two throws. Sen Poppy. Hello, Sen Poppy. Uh, Catalino with a Belial and a fairy, and then Avatar Belial. This guy plays everything. Fair enough. I respect it. I'm a, I'm a one-trick pony, but I can definitely understand the, uh, the urge to play lots of different characters. And apparently, they're good at it. I don't know, I mean, if, if, if Belial is their primary character, or, you know, like, they might have multiple characters as Master, is what I'm getting at. I can't say for sure, but... Alright, well, Catalina is a problem for me. Catalina has historically been a problem for me, because the scary sword lady walls me out, and then I don't know what to do. So, 
And I feel like I don't want to just auto, uh, like, I don't want to just concede to auto losing neutral against the scary sword lady either. So I, I don't, I mean, that was a bit of a lucky interaction there for sure, but Spot Dodge is, I think that that is a, somewhat of an indicator that Spot Dodge is going to be good for us in this matchup. 5H2, maybe, like that. Not necessarily to uh, actually control space, but to like crush some of their normals, possibly. Because I do find that they, oh my god, uh, it's, a, it's a normal zoning problem with me and Catalina. Owie, I'm going to grab you. I don't think you think I'm going to do it. Oh my god, you totally did. You totally thought I was going to do it. Okay, they, they're they on to me. Whoa, they just did that to my Brave Counter? Okay, I mean, this, this Catalina is immediately super on to me. Which is definitely unfortunate to see. I have to be a little bit less shenanigan-based in my gaming. Okay. Luckily, 2M recovered in time there for us to not get completely molly -whopped. but here's the here comes the molly Uh, are we dead? Arcase. Well, now we are. Oh, no, we're not. Okay. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I did. I, I was like, well, what do you guys think? It's a 50-50 here, basically. Do we think they're going to DP on wake-up, or do we throw them on wake-up? Hard to say. Uh, luckily, I guessed correctly there. I figured that because they kind of got robbed out of their chance to win that game, I think I thought they might be a little bit more uh, aggressive in trying to, uh, you know. Okay, well, like they f they felt maybe like they deserved that hit, you know. They deserved to win there. I'm not actually saying that that's what they think, but it's more of like, uh, this is a guard break, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a good spot dodge, but I guess I still couldn't punish it. Huh? Very, very interesting and very unfortunate, even I would dare say. Bonk. Nice. Oh, that wasn't a full combo though. Unfortunate. That one I was ready for. Bonk. Uh, what do you guys think? I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, okay, that actually could have punished me there. That is punishable on block. Uh, I should have. I should have supered them. I knew. I, I knew it was maybe something to consider. Uh, well, they're just dead. Nice, nice. Yeah, they are. They're jumping on wake up a little bit uh, too much. I think, in the sense of, um, like they. They're obviously they're. I, I reversal supered them right away early in the match. So I guess that's why they're they're very antsy about it now. Bonk. Oh, if I hadn't super jumped there, I might have actually been able to get a proper punish. Bonk. Okay. What do you guys think? 6-6-H? Six, six, I think so. Okay. We didn't get a proper conversion, though, unfortunately. Get Brave countered. Okay. I'll get Brave countered, too, while I'm at it, I guess. Uh, back throw incident. You hate to see it. Uh, back throw? No. Okay. I was like, maybe they'll back throw me again, and then it'll all be good. This is plus. Okay. This is bad. Oh, man. Enchanted Lance. To really cut off some, some screen space there. Oh, this is not in reach. Oh, it is. I was like, this move sucks. It's not in range. But no. It was. It was. Wow. Okay. I think that's max distance. I think that is the furthest away I've ever hit anybody with that move. It has such a, like, pittance of range, but I think we just barely managed to sneak in there. Oh, okay. Yeah, 6-6-H. Six, six, little ambitious, I suppose. Ow. Ow. Okay. This is bad. We're getting poked out. I meant to spot dodge there, not roll, but maybe maybe both options would have gotten blown up. Hard to say. Uh, spot dodge would have been a little safer, even if it would have led to our demise. Oh, man. Yeah, I tried to crush something on the way in there, but... Yeah, I'm just kind of flailing in this corner this round, uh, and we're probably dead for it. I mean, we're not dead here, but this round is, I mean, this is one of them uh, This is one of them rounds where it's hard to win. Honestly, it's one of them rounds where we can just try doing some, some, some freak shit. Oh, okay, okay. I was like, we should do something really weird on wake up here and just use this round to try and condition them. But then they jumped immediately, and I was like, there's nothing too weird that I can do here. I could try a 2H, but then I would just get counter hit. They kind of put me in a situation where I had to just, uh, I had to just, you know, play the game somewhat normally, which is, I, I resent them for it. That's minus. Yeah, yeah. You can you can space that to the point that it's safe, but that was not spaced at all. Whoa! Okay, I tried the headbutt on my landing there. Get away from me. Get 6-6-H six, six, while you're at it. Okay, DP. They're DPing a lot, huh? Definitely the case. Nice. Get away. Get away. Oh, man. Reversal super. Okay, okay. I should I should be a little bit more careful about this Catalina. Uh, try and keep my stuff a little bit more safe for that. But it's, it's, all, it's also a little rough, right? I guess command grab is, is a nice way to make them feel a little bit more uncomfortable about just, you know, generally doing this uh, this sort of shenaniganry. Oh, that was very silly of me. That was very silly of me. Okay, we're dead, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well played, well played, well played. Yeah, um, so what I was gonna say is that if we the earlier we command grab, if we command grab early on in block strings, then they uh, they can't just sit there and wait for a gap in DP, right? I think is our answer. But, you know, then I, I didn't really uh, play the game properly because I just jumped at them and died. Bonk. Bonk. Like this, right? Now you just can't sit there and uh, and wait for your gap to DP. I mean, you could just DP on wake up, though, still. That's definitely valid. However, it may or may not get you killed. It's up to you if you're if you're willing to take that risk. Oh, man, I, I should have stood a little bit further away. 
So that, that exact situation wouldn't be a problem. Oh, that's safe, huh? Interesting. Get away. Super jump. Oh, okay, fair enough. My bad, King. You got me. Oh, okay. You got me again. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna do this. That's because I think I've been punishing you for jumping on Wake Up a, a few times, so I don't think you're gonna be ready to actually, because what you were, you were doing the jumps to beat the Reversal Super, right? So now uh, that I've been punishing you for the jumps, it's time to put the Reversal Super back in the blender, I think. This, this salad could use a little bit of Reversal Super. Oh, it just ran up and threw me. Very, very interesting. Oh, man. That was bold. I'm pretty sure that would that would have been punishable if they hadn't uh, if I hadn't if our, our, if I had blocked that. Get away. Nice. Nice little conversion here. What do you guys think? Five U? Oh, okay, they DP'd anyway. Get headbutted, nerd. Oh, we didn't quite get a conversion there. Oh, we were out of range, but they didn't quite get a punish there. You love to see it. Get grabbed, nerds. Um I'm gonna do it again. No, I'm not. I was gonna I, I was thinking about it and then I was like, no, no. Let's let's be a little bit more. Patience. I want to get 100 meter and then super through a projectile of theirs. They're, they're walking me down, which is not great. Oh my god. Raging str my old nemesis. Oh god. I did not- I think- I, I honestly think that was a brave counter. I mean, maybe it was a raging strike, but that was like so out there. I honestly think that was a brave counter because I kind of walked at them for a second. Oh man. We got out Fuzit. Heartbreaking, even. What are you, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you, what are you, oh, DP. Okay, that wasn't, that wasn't fully punishable, I guess. It was spaced out well enough there. Brave counter, understandable. That's gotta be, okay, I was gonna say, oh, it's pretty minus to me. Okay, we'll take this throw, I suppose. Oh, we got, okay, okay, we got loads. That's bad. Fair enough. Oh, whoa, that was still active. Damn. Like, that was done, I think. What do you guys think? I mean, I guess it works. Because I think that was done to bait a Brave counter, but I did it too late and I Raging Striked instead, and it still caught the Raging Strike. I mean, it's 29 frames, right? Maybe it was done to catch a Raging Strike. Like, maybe they knew that they weren't coming down with anything, so I was going to try and Brave counter, so I was going to get a Raging Strike, and then they were going to blow me up for that. In which case, I mean, that was perfectly timed. I feel like there were only a couple of frames left on that spot dodge until the Raging Strike would have hit. Well played. Well, there's, there's some very interesting offensive decision-making from that Catalina there. I mean, we definitely... Uh, Another another match, I feel like, where com more command grab, right? I got a fever and the only prescription is more command grab. Would have helped us a lot there. Earlier in our in, earlier into our block string, so that the Catalina couldn't just sit there and DP and reversal super and just get out of our pressure for free. So that's something that we definitely could have been doing a lot better. Oh, it's been a while since we... Bochi the Rock fan, wait a minute, have I, I, I fought you before. I feel like that tag is familiar. Uh, I mean, it's probably not unique, but it's familiar. Um, okay, so two, it's actually been a while, believe it or not. After fighting like nothing but 2B for a few days, uh, it's it's actually been a little bit since I fought a 2B. So let's see. This is a, a tricksy little girl. So let's see if I can remember anything. That's plus, but I guess they did a... Oh god, I'm a silly boy. That's plus, but I guess they did a move that was too big and burly afterwards. There you go. 6XL, baby. It does beat that little bot drop there. I, I learned this earlier today. Bonk. Oh, DP. So true. Oh, okay. I thought they were gonna do. I thought they were gonna do umbrella shenanigans that I could two H them. But again, I really shouldn't do that preemptively. Hello. Uh, yeah, sure. Don't mind if I do. I'll just do this for a quick conversion because I don't know what they. Uh, I, I did not expect that hit, and I uh, didn't know what to do about it. Any DPS? Damn right, I'm an idiot. Why am I an idiot? Any any knowers? Anyone know why I'm an idiot? Get away from me. That's plus. Yeah, and you don't know that. Wonderful. I mean, you don't even have a, you don't even have a five frame, so it's like even if I don't perfectly space it, you're still in uh, in some danger here. Also, this Catalina theme, man, damn, damn, damn. You know what I'm talking about? Damn. Especially after learning a little bit more about her lore from uh, from Relink, which, by the way, you guys should watch the Relink videos if you don't. I think they're a lot of fun. Uh, but yeah, uh, I, this this theme and like the sort of melancholy to it, it hits even harder. Oh man. Okay, we're we're getting we're getting thrown. There's the umbrella. Oh my God, that was a nasty high low. Stopping the umbrella early like that. Oh, there you go. That time they followed it up properly. Okay, okay. Uh, we're getting bomb boat. This is bad. Oh, and I got empty jump load. Yeah, yeah. Very, very nasty mix that this uh, lady has access to, and raging strike remains my 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 bane. Oh my god, she's got a double jump. Right. Oh my god, she got a DP. I mean, that one's not. It's surprising. I mean, that was just those were two back-to-back uh, -back panic options for me. So it, it happens. It happens. Not, not my best, not exactly the best nooch I've ever nooched there. That's for sure. Okay. Okay. Don't mind if I do. Oh, this counter hit 5H doesn't just link into uh, 5L like that? I thought it would. 
Maybe we didn't counter hit from far away enough. Like, maybe it could be more plus. Uh, bonk, bonk. Get some mid-screen Oki here, if you don't mind. Oh, I tried to command grab them. They mashed on wake-up, though. Interesting. I don't think I've command grabbed this 2B at all. Oh, I got a reset. Okay, that's good. DPers? No. Raging Strikers? Oh, okay. Jumpers? Incredible. Oh my god. Okay, okay. So that, I'm gonna be honest, was a misinput. That clothesline was a misinput. Uh, I don't actually know what I was trying to do. I think I was trying to do Reversal Super, and I got clothesline. Ow. Anyways, <laughs> uh, on, on, to the next, on to the next set here. Nice. Nice. Oh, awesome. Uh, oh, okay, I wanted to grab them there, but maybe I should have done it a little earlier. There you go. That's me actually, rare footage of me actually reacting to 2B's parachute nonsense there. Combo limit. Why would you do such a thing to me? Okay, brave counter. Ow, ow. I'm gonna grab you, and I don't think you're jumping. Yeah, no, you're not. Uh, you're alive, but you are almost dead, which is almost as good as being dead. Nice. And yeah, I just figured they wouldn't DP there, and even if they did, I don't need to be scared of DP in that circumstance, right? If they have me with DP, I just get them. I, I'm, they're still one touch away, and I still have a massive health advantage. All right. So true, bestie. Out. So true. So true, bestie. Haha. Haha. Even Ladiva goes haha when she when she rolls. I she she thinks the same way I do. I'm like I'm so smart. I use a defensive option, and then most of the time, because her roll is ass, you get blown up for it. But like haha. Yes. Yeah, so you, you hear that? Ow. Okay. Hello, Mr. Gun. I'm gonna wait for you to go airborne and then try and kill you for it, if I can. Oh god, okay, okay. Uh, this is a full, yeah, so this. He gets conversions off of this. It's not the most damage I've ever taken in a combo, though, on the right side. Oh, okay. Uh-huh, uh-huh, I see you. Your skill gauge looking kinda low, 2B. Your skill gauge looking a little bit low over there. I don't know, I don't know, man. Are you sure about this course of action? Oh, I miss, I misinputted that. And I wasn't blocking? And I wasn't... Say what now? I'm just... Okay, everything. My hands are betraying me. Get away from me. Oh my god! What do you guys think now, huh? What's the what's the plan? Oh, fair enough. Fair I suppose that was the most obvious thing I could have done. I, just, I saw 2B with no skill gauge, man. I got I got so thirsty for the kill. Okay, okay. Uh, what do you guys think? Not that. And all this is fair. It's, yeah, I mean, that's that's some, some nice... Ooh, some nice skill gauge usage there, but unfortunately I just stepped in and swung a little too early. Okay, well, get away from me while you're here. Oh, what the? I just—I guess I didn't match that. I mean, that's that's plus as hell, but I must have left too big of a gap there. So I allowed her to uh, actually successfully mash in on me. I've been foozied. Oh, jump you! The hitbox actually failed me. No, not like this. It's so big normally. But super jump. Is a little bit of a, of a weird one sometimes, I suppose. Oh, man. Oh, man. And my two H's failed both times there. I got hit on wake up. Okay, okay. That was tough. We kind of got blown up in that last round there for sure. They had uh, they, they they had a bit of a read on us, I think. Defensively and offensively. Let's see if we can do a little bit better. It's just, it is still difficult to control space or this horizontal space against 2B. Don't get it twisted. Don't get it oh, even a little bit twisted. Okay, at least we blocked that, even if I couldn't 2-H her for it. Uh-huh. Oh, that is not my moment to hit something. Gotcha, especially not 5-H, which is what I decided to hit there. Okay, okay. Where, where the, the robot lady is, is causing us, is doing us a frightening. Oh, I got high-low. Yeah, that is a scary part, right? Again, like I always say, that high-low is super, is hard, hard to react to. So just like, you know, react, or sorry, it's hard to actually block. Just react to her going up into the air and 2-H her, right? When she goes into the umbrella. But, uh, you know, when you are in that situation where you're being held in place by... Is I not blocking? I think like it's happening to me a lot. I, I guess I wasn't blocking. I didn't even say chip damage. Uh, but when you're in that situation where you are um, getting held in place by all those little balls, you just have to hold that. You have to try and block it or die. So it's... Oh, my. It's very scary. Uh, okay. Yeah, I'll just get thrown, I suppose. Happens. I need to grab more. Like this. Even though I might be able to get a combo there, but it's okay. Yeah, that's okay. DP. Understandable, even. Oh, nice. Okay, okay. Yeah, it's the thing about when 2B doesn't have 50% meter, right? You can kind of go ham. I'm going to do this because I don't want her to have DP available. So I'm going to... Because, yeah, there you go. That's an interesting little uh, piece of tech there, right? But, or just not tech, but just like something to think about. I could have done more damage in that combo. Uh, but I was like, when you get hit, you build meter, right? So like, I'm going to keep this combo shorter so that she doesn't have 50 meters so that she can't DP me on this next wake up. Because the next hit's gonna kill anyway. 
So I don't need the extra damage from this combo. Just a little bit of a, a little bit of a tidbit there. Something that I saw somebody do in Capcom Cup, and I was like, wait a minute. This is like some serious, uh, some serious gourmet shit. You know what I'm talking about? All right. I can, I can, I can wait this out until your skill gauge is crying. I don't see why not. There you go. That's the thing, right? You can, it's hard to contest that horizontal space versus 2B, but you can just kind of ignore that and go vertical. And then sometimes that can lead to success. Uh, okay, well, I should have definitely converted off that first one. But it happens. That was unfortunate. They baited my brave counter, or in the or at least maybe they weren't baiting it on purpose, but I did an, erone an erroneous brave counter. But because they whiffed a throw, they actually got uh, punished for that. They couldn't spot dodge, or that, at least the fact that they got guard broken there means that there was a gap where they could have spot dodge. They just didn't manage to in time. It was very quick after the throw recovered, right? All right, all right. Well, uh, well played to that two B. I think you know we we still. Uh, it's good that we fought. Lucille's is a similar thing, right? We fought so much two B the day she came out that we were re we were really able to kind of learn the matchup uh, to an extent at least. We have a pretty decent basic game plan against two B. Uh, so I'm not I'm not I'm not upset about that at all. I feel like we have. A, yeah, we, we know what to do. Obviously, there's still some things we still get caught by, but the days where I was just like 2BS 25 moves and I don't know what to do about literally any of them are gone. So that's very good. All right, all right. Overall, what do you guys think about this video? I think we played decently. I think we played all right, right? I think there's definitely... Our uh, our neutral is... You know, my moose clays are getting bigger. Our neutral is getting better. But I think we still... Uh, we, we jumped a lot in this video and that got us killed a lot. Uh, so I don't think I'm very happy about that. But... It's okay. That's more of like there were some times where I was maybe not uh, being as actively engaged with the game and I was just kind of autopiloting. Uh, but when you do big things like that in neutral, it's because you just you want the neutral to end. You feel uncomfortable in neutral. You feel outclassed in the neutral. So you want the neutral to end. Then you take a big risk like that, like jumping in. So that it's like, hey, if this jump in works, I know if it, if it doesn't work, I get anti aired and I die and I go to the corner and the round is almost certainly lost. But think about it. If it works, it's my turn. It's no longer neutral. So it's a silly line of thought, but it is, it's genuinely what happens when you feel uncomfortable in that situation. So, uh, but besides that, I think fine. Uh, again, more command grabbing, more, uh, more command grabbing, right? I mean, you, you saw it. We, as soon as we were like, wait, we need to command grab more against this 2B. Guess what happened? We started winning, right? It really is. It, it sounds silly. And I say it so often, but I, I need to get this in my head is like, command grabs are really, really powerful and really, really scary. Even if the SP doesn't do a ton of damage from Ladiva. Just how much more difficult it makes it to play in your defense around Ladiva if you know Ladiva is consistently command grabbing, it's night and day. So I just, I need to do it more often and I keep forgetting, I keep forgetting. Um, okay, okay, nice. Well, overall, uh, I think I think I'm fine with this video and uh, if you made it this far in the video, of course, as always, I got four things for you, brother. For number one, uh, get down there and join the Discord server, man. There's a description, a link in the description. Uh, it's, it's a nice place, we got lots of people uh, hanging out. Playing fighting games, playing uh, Grand Blue mostly, but also talking about other games, and not even all fighting games, right? There's a Relink channel in there too, so uh, it's a nice and welcoming community there, so uh, please join. And if you do join, by the way, please try and keep it nice and welcome. So far, everyone in there is super nice and chill, and I haven't really had to, I barely even had to do any policing or moderation at all. Uh, but again, I will not hesitate to drop the ban hammer on someone's ass if I really have to, so just don't be the first person that I ban, right? You don't want that reputation. Anyways, number two, if you liked the video, and I sure hope you did, get down there and like the damn video, man. Come on, it's free. It don't cost you nothing. It really helps out the channel, and I appreciate it a lot, of course. Uh, while you're down there, that subscribe button, that bell button for number three. They're, like, roughly over here, I think. Uh, they'll keep you up to date with all this Grand Blue uh, content that I'm going to throw it at you. We got two videos coming out every day. Also, this Belial theme is real loud in my ears. I hope you guys can hear me over what I'm saying right now. Uh, but yeah, we got two videos coming out every day. We got new videos coming out at noon EST, which is this Ladiva Master Rank content, and soon to be tournaments, right? It's Thursday for you guys right now, I think. So uh, this is our last week of just Master Rank grinding before we join some tournaments and then do some more uh, maybe interesting Grand Blue content. We're just on the we're on the grind right now. Uh, and then 7 p.m. we got Relink videos coming out, which I think are a good time. You guys should watch those. It's a different side of me. It's a different content uh, style, so I think you could enjoy them. Uh, but in any case, stay up to date with all that, that hour and a half content I'm throwing out to you a day by hitting those two buttons there, subscribe and bell. And of course, so number four, most importantly, more important than ever buttons you smash or whatever algorithm friendly interactions you hit me with. I hope you had a great time hanging out today, most of all. I know I sure did. It's a great, I, again, I feel like I'm out here. Like I'm out here slugging with these master rank players. Like we have kind of gotten there. I just need to not be, uh, I need to be playing all my game. I need to be focused. I need to be command grabbing. I need to be mixed, running my offense well. I need to not be just jumping in neutral or doing random silly shit like that. But I feel good. I feel good. Having a lot of fun with Rising. There's going to be a lot more Grand Blue content of all shapes and sizes coming your way. But until then, I will see you in the next one. Peace.